the president of the National Center for Sexual Education. And also, which is most people in the US know, is she's the daughter of the president, one of the daughter of the president, Raul Castro. Okay, so now that we've been here for a few days, we are going to test your knowledge with some Cuba Jeopardy! Today, my name is Allie McCracken. I'm with the organization Code Pink. Uh, these are my colleagues Jamila and Medea, also with Code Pink. And so let's get started. Who's the first bidder? Bill. Sorry. Sorry. What do you want? What Which category? How many points? Uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. All right. How much money does the U.S. openly spend per year to support Cuban dissidents? One point five gazillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Oh, and Medea walked away, but she told me the answer is 20 million per year. Oh. Guantanamo for 200. Okay. Sure. All right, Guantanamo for 200. So, uh, what are the top two obstacles to closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay? The prison. The, the ob obstacles are Congress and and Congress. Uh, Congress, yes, Congress, the Senate, Congress, right. All right, so we're going to have to stop the game of Jeopardy because our speaker is here and the game of Jeopardy was to keep you entertained. So we are very, very lucky to have with us Mariela Castro. She is the president of a very important organization called CENISEX which she will explain to us, but which works on a huge issue of transforming the way Cubans think about issues of gender, issues of sexuality, issues of gay and lesbian rights, a huge issue uh, in any society, and uh, uh, very much so in a Latin society. Um, she is also a member of the National Assembly. To Mariela Castro, Thank you so much for being so interested in our work. Bueno, antes quiero que vean un pequeño video de unos minutos. First of all, I would like you to watch um, a video. It's a 10-minute video. Sobre la, para que vean cómo hace, realizamos nosotros, celebramos, cómo celebramos las jornadas cubanas contra la homofobia y la transfobia. So homofobia. that you can see how we celebrate our journals against homophobia y transfobia. And transfobia. Y ser la vanguardia de la sociedad significa llevar las ideas más revolucionarias de la sociedad. To be the vanguard of the society means to bring the most revolutionary ideas that are in the society. Por tanto, empecé a editar inventar consignas. And then I started making up uh, like pledges and sayings. Y una de las consignas fue socialismo sí. Homofobia no. And one of them was socialism, yes, homophobia, no. Yeah. And it has worked because we continued using it in the rest of our congas. And that has to do with this I've been telling you about. Yo no concibo el socialismo como homofobia. So I don't think of so making socialism thinking in homophobia. No el que usamos es para eso. The sexual education that we use, I mean, contributes to that. Es para explicar cómo to se fueron construyendo esos mensajes how ideológicos. These messages, ideological messages were built que se expresaban en política discriminatoria y dominador y dominadora. Discriminatory policies and dominant policies. Entonces, mientras hacemos socialismo, no podemos repetir lo mismo. So while we make socialists, we cannot repeat the same. Y entonces, lo que se estableció un acuerdo and then what was established del then, Ministerio de Salud Pública y la Federación de Mujeres Cubanas because of Cubanas, an agreement between the Ministry of Health Care and the Cuban Women Federation el servicio de aborto, was to establish the abortion service o sea, institucionalizar el servicio as, a, as, an, I mean, as an institutional way 
como un servicio del sistema de salud pública it is a service provided by the healthcare system con el objetivo de salvar la vida de las mujeres por encima with de the todo. objective of saving the life of women above all things y thank you Mediation, reconciliation is led by Catholic Church. How you can give more power to Catholic Church when Catholic Church is against abortion? Of course. La iglesia tiene que estar en contra. So the church has to be against that. Esos son sus postulados. Those are the principles. La iglesia sigue heredando tradiciones de poder, de so dominación. So the church continue inheriting, let's like say, positions of power. In the United States, more than 7 million people went to jail in the last 10 years for marijuana. And in this state, in this country, very similar laws regarding marijuana, but marijuana is changing now. It's turning out it's medicine. A discusión. Right, now, no. right now, so far, we have not debated about La mejor experiencia que se conoce es la Uruguaya. The best experience that we know of is the one from Uruguay. Pero Uruguay lo tuvo que hacer Uruguay had to do it con todas las drogas. With all drugs. Por, para poder eh, este, quitarle poder a los, a los comerciantes. In order to simply take cost the power to the dealers a lo, a lo, a los mafiosos, a las mafias que se habían to the creado. mafia that they were created there to choose something that affects the lives of so many people who are oppressed all over the world to take an issue that is hard to deal with even in the communist party itself We want to just thank you so much from the depths of our hearts.